Lisa, I know. You can't even hear that car. <laughs> Breakfast being served. What we got here? So we got a driver here. What's your name? I'm William. William, yeah. Professional race driver. Yes, he's got. Oh, God. This is a wet lap. You imagine that traction off on a wet track. Look how much it's raining. We got the carousel here. Very bumpy. Going for the backflip. happening guys it's a brand new day today it's day two of the Nürburgring trip as you can tell from my eyes I'm super super tired only got about four hours of sleep got the GTO and the R6 parked up here need to go meet the others first of all let's get some breakfast in it's a beautiful place to be massive area look at these beasts lined up together a little deadly so as you know I bought both of them to a trip Main reason being, take the R06 on track and the GTR. It's going to be an insane experience. Bad boy monsters. This is the V6 Beast. And this is the Autobahn King. Made to take everyone out on the fast lane. Here's one of the cars that came with us. AMG GT63S. Bad boy car. Check out this car though. The hotel owner owns this car. I don't even know the model name, but I know it's a Corvette. It's a deadly looking one. Fully keyed out for the track. Looks like a monster. Tires and everything, really. Look at the spoiler. But I'm ready for the circuit. Morning, we go the alarm's gone off. I woke up a bit early today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where are you? The beasts are alive. You can't even hear that car. Just come to Lidl to grab some breakfast. As you know, this whole place is like a 10 15 mile radius of just forest, and this is all part of the circuit. Literally, it's all part of the circuit. It's a massive place, so not a lot of food places around here. You gotta make do with what you have. Just come across this beautiful GTR from the UK. It's an LM20 midfield edition. Love these rims. Just love how chunky they look, and as you can see, they stick out quite a lot as well. Volk Racing, I think it is. They are. What's the tyres? 345 on the rear. Flip, you know, that's like Porsche, Porsche wide. It's gonna have proper stance and handling on this one. Love the kit as well. Lovely stance. Need to get myself these rims. Very, very nice.
right here, yeah. do some cooking. Breakfast being served. What we got here? Some mushrooms, eggs. Yeah, everything, bro. It's going slowly right now. Yeah. Breakfast is served. Let's eat. What's this? Omelette, that one fingers. Bon appetit, Nams. Yeah, man. Can't eat breakfast. Yeah, because. Say much? The chef, because. He's feeding up. <laughs> He's feeding up. 102. 102 for you, wasn't it? Bro, have you got that one? That's a bit You saying, Yeah, we do, we do, yeah. I'll smash it for that, bro. Nah. <laughs> some track time in very soon. United with the whole group, got quite a few cars here, Mark 5 GTIs, M3 Estate, if you have a car we're going to be hitting the ring very soon.
believe what just happened so i've just done a lap of the nurburgring and um, i basically came down to the end the car came to a full stop and then smoke loads of smoke was pouring at the brakes front brakes it was literally the front and back before it's on fire so we all jumped out and then um i noticed my brake pedal's gone all the way down it's almost like there's no fluid in the car at all so what i've done i, I was, was in neutral i was just coming out the circuit rolling down this way and i as you can see over there, it's like a bit of a downhill. So what happened was my car started rolling down really fast. There was a lot of cars here, like four or five cars here. So I ended up coming this way, mounting that curb there. If you come down this way, I literally came for this hedge and I aimed for this pillar. So my car's smashing into this right now. I'm so lucky because this is the only damage that I've got now. Not bad at all considering that if the brake failed on me on one of these bends at 100 miles an hour this car would have smashed to pieces it's a big eye opener literally my car stopped right here at this pole if that wasn't there i would have fell down the ditch as well it's crazy crazy definitely no more laps today i'm gonna pack it up head back to the hotel and just think about what happened because i could have lost my life today it's mad just can't believe it could have been so much worse the thought of smashing into a wall or on a bend and having an accident in the ring is no joke it happens often but yeah thank god we're all okay the car's fine we're all good so obviously once i parked up people were telling me the brakes are boiling hot you need to give it a rest so now look, if you can see now it's recovered the brake fluid is still present so yeah all i have to say is it's a lucky one so enough of track driving for today i think that one lap is more than enough considering I could have died. So, time for a bit of swimming. What do you say? Yo! <laughs> you ready, yeah? What are you saying, G? Almost died. <laughs> You've been blessed yeah. for another day. That's it. We're blessed. So, it's gonna hang about in the hotel, relax, have a swim, and get some food, and get some rest. Start another day tomorrow. I need to hop in the pool. No, my are coming off. Three. Two, one, go. Huh? Man that's going on in the pool. Going for the back flip. Anyway. Yes, go on. Damn, human flag. <laughs> What's going on guys? Today is day two of the Nürburgring trip. I'm um, supposed to be taking the GTR out, but it's predicted to rain pretty much all day today um depending on how bad the rain is i might just go on a quick lap even if it's a slow nice paced lap it's always good to go on the lap as many times as possible just so you can get used to it the only time i've been familiar with the ring is from playing playstation uh gran turismo i'm sure a lot of you have played that game um it's super realistic but the difference between real life and a game is massive when you step into the ring you realize how scary it is you have all these fast porsche gt3s rs's coming right up you you know they're flying past you like it's a joke obviously you've got so many of these professional race drivers who's been on the ring like at least believe it or not at least a thousand laps in their life so you know they know the ring like the back of their hand other than that there's a lot of things to do around the Nürburgring as well there's a Nürburgring museum there's quite a few things to see so yeah I'll just go around and just see what we're gonna get up to today just entered the Congress Hotel Another green, we've got a Porsche GT3 as soon as you come in. Drop my track setup car. That's 
that's the other green driving could have been there's a couple of stuff here in there we're gonna try to get some go-karting sessions in which is just around the corner smashed up rim here must have been on the circuit look at that big big accidents happen here very windy here at the moment as well there's a lot of rain to go i'm gonna try to book myself a ring taxi we are gonna try it on the standby now it's a nurburgring simulator very realistic so you got four people playing together at the same time it's gonna be mad Oh. And I'm gonna smoke everyone in it. I'm gonna smoke him, wouldn't it? Oh, you're gonna get smoked first, bro. Sure, sure. You're gonna get smoked first, bro. Strap up. Get in the drive. Get in the racing seat. Oh my face. It's a bit tight for me. Here's my best lap 215. Let's see what these other lot got. 218. 27 here and this is a three minutes so that means i'm the champ <laughs> naturally i'm the winner number one look what i've just come across a porsche gt3 rs obviously i love this car very much but i'm very surprised to see this straight from dubai imagine that someone's imported this car to germany from dubai that's insane that's why you call it a real petrol head isn't it Massive presence as well. Ball cage out. It's a madness. Got another one pull up in Miami Blue. Ah, for this one. You guys don't mess around. Just about to get into the ring taxi. Booked ourselves for M5 competition. One lap with the, with the, with the professional racing driver. This is going to be an insane experience. The declaration we can just hand off with Jalon. This guy just come out of the Porsche GTV RS. As you can see, they're going to handle it. This is it. Our green taxi has arrived. The NWM5 competition pack with a professional race driver. About to board the beast. Hello. Hello, you right? Good, and you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. So we got a driver here. What's yeah. your name? I'm William. William, yeah. Professional race driver. Yes. He's got how much? How much laps he got the new man? Seventeen thousand. Seventeen. Yeah, you heard that right? Seventeen thousand. Yeah. Let's so this is gonna be a hell of a ride. This is gonna be a hell of a ride. Right. Huh? Past straight off the racetrack. Now we are allowed to accelerate on towards Tiergarten. Oh my days, bro. Towards the bottom of Tiergarten. This guy is flashing the guy in front already. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my days. Flipping. Best driver I've ever come across in my life. 
Traction off, yeah? Yeah. Nice. I found a G Force there. <laughs> what do you prefer, this or the E63S? <laughs> oh. Hell, look at this. Like, I, I think for, for this kind of a car, you know, a two ton family car, yeah. it's a fun car. Fun car. It's a very funny car, yeah. But obviously, out of a M392 or so, you can. Build something much faster than this one. Oh, serious? Yeah. So he said an E92 M3 can go faster on the Benz than this M5 competition. Yeah, of course, but with modifications, yeah, like suspension. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this and that, and yeah. You gotta do that stuff. E92 M3. E92 M3. Saying. Oh, the one Zamara, the blue one. Yeah, you can make it faster than this on the track if you work on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not very This is a wet lap, you imagine that traction off on a wet track. Look how much it's raining. You can imagine. Oh, Do you really understand how capable this car is now? Or oh, any car is flipping hell. You can never imagine going on a bend this fast. We got the carousel here. Very bumpy. Oh, oh my God. You done seventeen thousand laps in this, yeah? Not not only in this, yeah, in general on the track. Yeah. Oh, on any track. So this, this, the, uh, I'm a professional driver. I like drive for different companies as well. And oh, right. And stuff. So a full-on race driver we got here. Yes. Well worth the experience. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's where everyone watches all the cars from. to go sideways? No, we are not allowed. Yeah. Is it? It's forbidden this time. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the reason, yeah, if it was full wet, then it happens, you know, you cannot. But in the dry, we are very restricted in this, unfortunately. Oh, okay, okay. Even the public people, they're not allowed to drift around, are they? <laughs> are you allowed to kick out a little bit? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. You're gonna show us some? <laughs> <laughs> Elevations and drops, yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. Watch out a little bit for these guys. Yeah, yeah. So these ones, yeah. yeah.
long streets. Well, you have no time, sir. That's Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you very much. Very it was an amazing lap <laughs> in the wet. It's my first lap on the Nurburgring in the ring taxi in the wet. Bad. So I just ended the lap with the Nurburgring M5 taxi. I was thinking to take the Porsche GT3 RS out next, but the rain just got really bad. So I'll hold off on that. Yeah, it's been an insane experience so far. One to remember. Definitely back in summer next year. So that's the end of the trip. We're gonna head back now. The ferry is soon. Not the ferry, the train, Folkestone. So we're gonna head back in the morning when I got like a five, six hour journey. We're gonna head back home. Call it a day. Bad memory from this hedge last night. It was right up there on that tree. Made it, heading back. Massive head turn on this GTR. Everyone just staring at it wherever it goes. About an hour to go to Folkestone, last fill up, then we board the train. Look at this madness, the bill flew off. Home sweet home. This one and go on the passenger building for check everything, okay? Thank you. Finally make way back. Border the Euro Tunnel, heading off home now. Another hour and a half drive to get home. We are back, we are back at the base. Long, long drive. This is the end of the journey. Finally back home. It's been a long, long, tiring journey. Time to call it a night. It's now 2.30 a.m. I think I'm gonna go home, catch some sleep. Follow me on my Instagram, nams underscore boost. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one.